Well, welcome to Gong Glass at Home. <laughs> I say that because you might be at home just enjoying your day of social distancing. And so if that's the case, there are two things that you can do. And so first thing, you can divine, oh, divine, you can design your divine design of stained glass. And I think that that's something that you can think about. If you've been thinking about a stained glass window for a long time, never really have the time to just sit and design it, today is your day. So get out your pencil and your blank piece of paper and just start drawing out the design that you were thinking about. It's been in your head, you know it. <laughs> and if you need some help, go to the internet, go to magazines, just get some ideas and jot them down and send them to me. Just give me a DM, we'll talk about it and we'll get that window going for you. Or number two, you can make this little house. So you can make your house project to build in your house since you have to stay there at home today. So, oh, see what I did there? Okay, so let's practice. So let's get this house going by first of all taking some regular, oh, even before that, you might want to print out this pattern so you can do it with me. So just go ahead, we'll have the um, link so that you can print off your pattern. And I would do one in kind of a cardstock, a thicker paper, and make a second one in just regular paper. That's your cartoon. So we're going to put that just on any kind of a board that you can nail down to. And with this, the cardstock, I'm going to cut with regular scissors around each piece. Now, if you happen to have some pattern shears, then you can cut out the inner pieces with your pattern shears. But for this, don't worry if you don't have any. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut around these pieces real quick. And you can be doing it with me. We'll see who finishes first. There are only eight pieces to this little house, and so it wouldn't take you very long, you know, but just take your time because you know you just have to be there anyway, so you may as well have it enjoy yourself. All right, so I've gone all around the outside. I've given this little house a name. It's called Off Center, and I think you can see why. <laughs> all right, then I'm gonna take my pattern shears, and I'm gonna go around the inside of the pieces. Okay, and remember if you are using pattern shears, once in a while you gotta pull these little ends out or it'll clog up your scissors. All right, oh, you know what I didn't do is number these and that, that might be a good idea. So let's just number these all together. Three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, oh, I knew there was eight. <laughs> Okay, so this is in four, three, eight. This is six, seven, five. I think that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to cut these little guys out. And as I get them cut out, I'm just gonna put them right on the cartoon. Yeah, just making sure. I know they're still going to fit. I know that I've cut out all of them and not throw away some with the trash. Okay, oh, number two. There's that one. All right, are you with me so far? All right, here we go. Number eight, number three. Okay, so it's not really important to put um, nails all around because it's not really gonna go anywhere, but if you feel like maybe you'd like to, then just you can go ahead and put a nail here and there. Make sure it doesn't get too far off. So I'll just put a few just to show you 
how I would do that. And I'm using um, horseshoe nails because they're flat on one side and that can just go right up against the glass and then the glass can butt up against it. So, and I might put a couple of more on there. All right, so I've got all of my pattern pieces cut. The next thing that I would do is to find some colors that I like. Now I've kind of gone with a palette of oranges and reds, a little bit of moonstone, teeny bit of yellow, and I'm going to just set these on here how I think that it would be fun. Maybe an orange roof and, and a red roof. Yeah, that kind of a red roof, I think. You know, maybe these inside ones. I might use my moonstone. Is that big enough? Oh yeah. Okay, another little red roof. Maybe some yellow doors. So, welcome back. I just wanted to show you a little bit of cutting. Now remember, if you haven't cut for a while, you hold the cutter as if you were stabbing with it and your thumb goes on that little indentation and the screw points away from you. Okay, always dip and score, just putting that right on top, following your line. Okay, and I'm gonna cut these. These are easy cuts, by the way, so you'll be happy to know. Okay, I cut that one by just my hands, but you can use your um, running pliers with the little bumpy side up. And just squish. That's a fun tool. I like that tool a lot. Okay. Here's our part. I guess this is the shed connected to the house. You can also use the grossing pliers, flat side up, remember, rounded side underneath. Use that tool also. This is probably the most difficult piece just because there's a little curve, but don't be afraid of curves. All right, I think I'm going to cut this curve first. Here. Let's tap it out. There you go. Okay, there's our number three. And we'll just hurry through the rest of these. At any time, you can pause the video and catch up. If it's hard, then just use a tool to do it instead of your hands. Do not want to cut yourself. This is a little bit of iridized in this yellow. That's pretty. Okay. Got a curve going on, so I'm going to tap that. when a project gets cut out this fast. In the back, I'm doing one that has, I think it's 236 pieces. So it didn't go quite so fast, but it's really pretty. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces. Now we're just gonna go and give each one a little bit of a grind. Doesn't need much but we'll grind them and put them on the cartoon.
is just wiping them off so I get all the glass powder off and then putting them on my cartoon. Oops, that's not how it goes. There. Okay. And then we'll be able to foil them. So this is a happy little house that you can do while you're home. And you'll have a keepsake from from when you were quarantined. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'll do, and you can do it at your own timeline here. You don't have to keep up because I'll probably switch over and you just do it. Okay, the hardest thing is just taking this part. <laughs> okay, so one by one, I'm going to foil. I like to, to put one corner on the edge, and then I can just go around. I, because I, And I like to do it this way because I can see both sides. And I know if I'm right in the middle. So it's very important that you're in the middle. Okay, I go all the way around. Give it a little snip, leaving just a little little tag. And then I'm gonna pinch it all the way around. When you get to a corner, it's like wrapping a present. Okay, then I'm gonna get my fid and burnish it down. And then put it back. And I'm gonna do that with all of the pieces, and when we're all foiled, we'll come back and do a little bit of soldering. Welcome back, my artistic friends. We're here making a house for you being in your house. And what I have done is just put the pieces after they've all been foiled right on my cartoon, and then I put a little bit of flux on all of the intersections and I might have done some of the lines too. And then I put a little dab of solder on all of the intersections. That's what I've done so far. So now what I can do is take this little pattern piece for the cartoon out from under it, in case I wanna use it again sometime. Okay, there we go. And then since I have, I think I've already done these, but I'm gonna go around them to make sure with the flux. And then I'm going to get a little bit of solder on here. And as you notice, I'm just bridging from one end to the other. And you can move it around if you need to. And a little piece like this goes fast, which is kind of fun. And nice. If you only have a short amount of time to work on it. doesn't feel like there's flux. You can always go back over it with flux even on top, so that's okay. No worries. Okay, you can't even go over it. Okay, and when, and I'm just going to go along the edge here 
If you ha were having a bigger window, you probably would put zinc around the edge, but I think what I'll do is just this, this time. Okay, and then I'm just going to do the other side and then don't go away because then I'll show you after I do the other side a little fancy trick so you can set it up on your table. Okay, one side down. Okay. So I told you that I had a fancy trick to put it on a table. Well, here it is. I made a little triangle and I've, I've tinned it, which means I've just gone over it all the way around with solder. And I've also done the edge. So now I'm gonna just do this side, a little bit of flux. As you can see, it doesn't take much. Okay, and that, I'm gonna let it cool for a minute, so I'm gonna continue in here. This is the back side, but I still want it to be nice. You never know if we we're gonna see the back side. Okay, don't forget your edges. Okay, so now this is cool enough. I'm going to set it right here, making sure that it's flat on the bottom. And then just go up right along the edge there. A little bit of flux. Making sure here. Since you don't have three hands, you just have to get a little bit on your iron. Put it on there so it doesn't move. that I'm gonna see how it stands oh look at those fun how adorable okay I'm gonna put a little bit more solder here it's for strength most adorable little house you've ever seen and it'll just sit there on your table I will clean it up and 
that's it. So that's just something that you can do while you're at home. And there you have it. So you know what? Be well, be safe, and be thinking of your idea for your stained glass window that we can work on together. And uh, we'll do some more fun things while you're home. And thank you for being with me. And we'll see you next time.